Voice of Baseball fans, welcome back to Trash Talk. Bye with me, Rocky Padilla, and today we have Mr. 40 Points and Mr. All-Star from Bumi Borneo Basketball, Randy Bell. Randy, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also, man. This is the first time, actually, <laughs> we talk to each other, and I really appreciate, yes. you know, taking time, you know, uh, from your busy schedule to do this interview with me, so I really appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, you fresh off. IBL All-Star, can you just tell us about the whole experience uh, being at the All-Star game and everything? Uh, it was a great experience. Um, mm -hmm. the, the turnout was way better than I, I thought it was. Even talking to all the friends and imports, uh, it was it was a great experience. A lot of fans got to interact. Uh, it was a long day, but it was it was a it was a uh, it was a good long day because, like I said, we we did a lot of things. I got to sign shirts, jerseys, had practice. Talk to the other local players who's all in the All-Star game. And then I so said when I played in the All-Star game, um, I said, I, I guess I was a little hot, so it, it made a better experience. Um, and then I had a little battle with Shavar, the, uh, who was MVP, so that, that made the game even better. Um, but the whole thing was, was a great turnout. It was, it was unbelievable. What was that? That's the, at the end. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I, I thought you were trying to do the nene. <laughs> he was doing something. He won the MVP, so he could do any dance that he wanted to do. <laughs> But, hey, talk about that last shot, though. I thought you were going to make that shot. How did, man, take us through that shot, man. Uh, we were down two, and coach just drew mm -hmm. up a play. Uh, the SM coach drew up a play for me to uh, basically get the ball and get a screen. And he said either take it to the hole, tie it up, or just do whatever's comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm like it's an All Star game, so let's go, let's, uh, go big or go home. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for the three. And I, I want to win. Uh, I think everybody wants to win, so but I wanted to win, and it was more for excitement for the fans and stuff. So yeah. I, I tried to make the big shot, I had the double clutch, but yeah. I, I thought I, I, I thought I made it, but it didn't go in. But it's it's all a part of the process. It, it yeah. was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. I thought it went in because it looks good. It looks straight too. <laughs> and yeah, it looks good. Yeah, let's talk about the dunk contest. Which which one is your favorite dunk? Um, there were a couple. Uh, I like I like Chris Wells dunk when he just threw it on the backboard. He got it was like a it was a tough dunk. Mm -hmm. Um, then like I say Cotton Cotton had a good win. I wish he could have made it to the finals, but I know. stuff happened. And then um. I like the little battle between Crump and uh Dame. I believe his name is Dame. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah they had a nice little dunk off. Uh, Crump, Crump and Pry I mean, surprised me too. Uh, he's small, but he, he has some stuff in his in his package. I love that dunk when he was wearing his uh, the helmet. That was really yeah, the fun. Helmet. Yeah, I, I like the one where, uh, where he like covered his face. Like, um, that that kind of surprised me too. Yeah, that, that was, was good. That was pretty dope too. Hey. hey. And man, we we started dunk contest through your IG live, man. You're pretty good with the camera, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I was trying to do my best. Maybe I get a little uh, uh sponsorship somewhere, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot to show you, man. Look at my shirt though. Oh yeah. <laughs> I gotta represent. I gotta put the camera <laughs> down a little bit. <laughs> And uh, now let's talk about you a little bit. Uh, this is uh, we just talked about it. This is actually your first year playing professional yes. uh man you're 23 years, uh, 23 years old you're like halfway around the world how was your experience man in indonesia uh my experience is is, is good like mm -hmm. i said i've been here about maybe three three months now uh three four months and it's been nothing but good my team Berneo, treats me well mm -hmm. um they make sure i get everything i need uh to take me everywhere i need so i'm, I'm very grateful for that and then the basketball here i, I love the basketball here like i said it's very competitive mm -hmm. Um, and every game in and out night, I mean, every game is, like I said, competitive. There's nothing, nothing easy or just going to walk through any team. Um, uh, very physical, but I, I like it. I like, I like it being physical. That means it's, it's competitive. So the, the experience here is great. I love the food. Um, I tried so many different things while I was here. So I, I love it. I don't have no complaints. <laughs> I know, but I know you are disappointed a little bit because your team did not make the playoff. You were, I think you guys were ninth. Yes, we were nice. Yeah, you were nice. Uh, but let's just talk about how proud are you, though, playing alongside a lot of rookies <laughs> and probably like a lot of first-timer pro. And But you guys almost made it to the playoff. How proud are you of this team? 
Uh, I'm very proud. Uh, mm-hmm. Even when I talk to my owners and players, I tell them all the time that it, even at the end of the year, we mm-hmm. had uh, we had like a little talk, and I told them it's nothing to be sad about them because mm-hmm. we had we had a great year. Everyone knows we had a great year. Um, but we know we all wanted to make the playoffs, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Like when everybody was telling us it's our first year, so we we re- we did really good. Um, and through the season, we had ups and downs. Like I said, mm-hmm. we started off with one and four, one and five, and then when we came back for the uh, the bubble in March, our, we had a winning 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 record. So that that kind of just showed that we once we started clicking and go through the season that we we could be a good good team. And it's like I said, it's only the first year, so. I, I, I'm very proud of the team and the organization. I feel like we we uh, accomplished more than people would thought we would have. Man, honestly, I thought you guys not gonna even win five games this season. I'll be honest with yeah. you, man. I'll be honest with you because you know everybody was young, everybody like uh, mostly like uh, rookies on the team. But what do you think was the difference though between you guys uh, before bubble and after bubble? Because uh, in the bubble, you guys played really well, man. Uh, I just believe that maybe I just think we we clicked a little bit more. We had mm. time to kind of like practice and just just know each other better. Mm. Uh, I believe what it is is being around each other and then it's just trust. Honestly, uh, I just believe we had trust in the beginning, but it was it was a new team first. Like so everybody didn't really play uh, IBL before or had experience being pro. So I believe after the four or five games, people started to adjust, mm. and once we started to adjust and Play, play with each other and people I said some games people stepped up some games it was a different person so I just believe that every different game was we brought something new to the table and that guy Leo it's pretty clutch huh <laughs> yeah Leo, Leo Leo's a good shooter man he's pretty clutch yes yes he is yeah that, that game win was uh, I think he got one game when he shot and one three-point shot that forced an overtime I think yeah one uh, one against Bali he made mm-hmm. the one against Bali for us to win and then one of us against Hantu to go in overtime yeah. <laughs> yeah like we said though you guys are uh, you play with a lot of uh young players on the team like and they play with confidence like I want to know Conf- if you know I want to know like you and Austin do you guys like talk a lot with the young guys and, you know, like giving them advice for the game or something like that? Yes, uh, we, we do mm-hmm. all the time. Um, like I said, we had a lot of ups and downs. So, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm not going to say the whole year was smoothly, but we mm-hmm. uh, we, we try to be leaders for them. Um, like I said, they, they kind of look up us to uh, us too because we're more, more experienced. Um, so, sometimes they feed off of us. So, uh, I said, you know, every time uh, we try to be positive, uh-huh. um, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's hard because we're all competitive and want to win. But for the most part, we talk to them even when we're on the court, off the court, we have a good time. Uh-huh. I feel like my relationship and Austin's relationship with the team is very good. And that's another reason why uh, we, we started to play better, because like I said, they, we believed in them and, and they believed in us. And what do you like the most about playing alongside with Austin? Uh, the most? Uh, <laughs> I wish we could like, I wish we could have played together. I yeah, feel like yeah. we would have. We would have really dominated. But I like Austin. Um, we're both from New Jersey. Oh, um, wow. I know that. Yeah, we, we're both from New Jersey. But he lives in North Jersey, North, near mm-hmm. New York. And I live in South Jersey, near, like, Philadelphia. But um, uh, this is our first time meeting each other, like, when we first came here. But we're, we're both we're both supportive of each other. Um, I think that's the best thing we, we did this season is, like, we weren't ever competing against each other. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that's the best thing for maybe two imports uh, because, like, we both, we both are good, as people can see. So – we know sometimes playing 20 minutes and 20 minutes yeah. is kind of hard, but I believe that since we were so supportive and so close that it kind of made it easier. Because so, some nights I would play 25 minutes, he might play 15, or he plays 26, I play 14. We never sat there and pouted or uh, I got on each other or mad at each other. We were just supportive. Um, if one person is going crazy, we even tell the coach, like, leave, leave him in because, like, we want to see each other succeed, and I think that was the best thing for our team, too. At first, was it harder for you, you know, to share minutes with Austin? Uh, I know. Yes, I, I believe it was hard. Uh, mm-hmm. I, it was hard for both of us because, mm-hmm. like I said, we both are good. We both are good. So, mm-hmm. um, and so we had talks with the coach, and it's just it's all about just talking things out because it, you know I'm saying? it's not it's not going to be easy on anybody where you split in 20 minutes. So you, you're resting seven, then you, you get in for about five or six minutes, and then – if you're not playing too good, you might get subbed out in four or five minutes. So it's just all about finding finding your niche and doing the most you can in the minutes. And that's what we try to do. I mean, like, usually foreign players, they play, like, 38 minutes, 39 minutes. Yeah. And can you just tell us 
like how do you deal with you know uh after sitting now like six minutes seven minutes usually your body is getting cold right like how do you deal with that though um it's about being a pro realistically mm. uh me 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 and him talked about it a lot it's just basically just trying to do what you uh, maximize your minutes because at the end of the day you're going to have to share minutes so mm. Uh, it's something you have to come, like come to realize. It's, it's nothing you can like fight against. So, more it's more just get, putting the work in, and then just believing in yourself. When you get it in, do do what your team needs you to do. So it's like not not worrying about the minutes no more. Uh -huh. The minutes we already know you're gonna play yeah. from 18 to 20 minutes. So it's about I say doing the most while you're in. That's that, uh, that's really good. To, uh, that's a really good mentality to have. Um, Randy, you close the season with a bang with 40 mm -hmm. piece. Uh, yes. making a name for yourself uh, in the league. Uh, was that your best moment during this IBL experience? Uh, yes, I, I believe I believe it was. It was uh, it was one of them, but I for 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 uh, I believe it was probably the best. It probably was <laughs> the best uh, because towards the end, I, I knew I was kind of, I was kind of getting close to 40. Um, and then at last three, uh, uh -huh. I, I knew I knew it would be for 40. So that's why that's why. <laughs> Got it. Um, I don't think I don't think I do, but I, I was kind of calm when I got uh, towards it, and I was like, okay, I gotta shoot this three to get 40. And when I scored, and when I scored it, I, I looked at Austin and just put up 40, and I put up 40, and he, and he didn't know if I put it or not. But I was like, I, I think I got 40. Oh, you were counting it? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was counting because I had I had 16 at half. Okay. And then, uh, but I I wasn't like shooting for 40 at all. Uh -huh. it, it was it was um. Because uh, my team, Orlando, uh, before okay. the game. Oh, that's my he, guy. He Orlando is my guy. I'm, Orlando's my guy. So that's my boy. Uh, uh -huh. He he, he kind of made a bet with me uh, laughing. He was like, oh, if you score 40 or 50, I get you uh, Krispy Kreme. And, we, <laughs> and I was just like, I was just like, okay, it, it is what it is. And then uh, I think I scored about three or four layups in a row. And I, and I was like, uh, I'm at around like 32. Around there, and then I just came down. I think I hit another three, really? and I got an M one, the M one dump. So I put me around, I think, 35 or 37. And then I was, I just, I just need one more three. <laughs> Did he really get you the Krispy Kreme? No, nah, he didn't give me no Krispy Kreme. Oh, not a man, not, not, not a man, not his word. <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? Say one more time. I say, not a man of his word. Oh, damn, Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's okay though because he we like I said he always get uh get snacks and he shares it with us so it, it was fine. <laughs> that's cool, man. But uh, let's talk about your matchup uh, in the IBL. Who do you think was your toughest matchup? Um, <sighs> right. I haven't I haven't really like I haven't really matched up with a lot of people because a lot of a lot of imports are not guards oh. if, so there it's like i don't i don't really match up with a lot of people um my first game was against savar was okay it was like oh. so we, it was like our first game but it was uh it was okay and then um i'm just trying to think no one can lock you up bro guard me um but Like I said, I don't, I don't, it wasn't really no, I, I didn't really have no guards. I said only mm. guard maybe, I, I, I give it up to uh, Griffin from, um, oh, Satya Muda. Satya Muda. He, he plays very hard. I, I like his competitiveness. That's one of the players I like from the, uh, from IBL. He, he's very competitive and I, and I like people who wants to go at me and that, that competitive, I, I like that very much. But yeah, he talks um, a lot I like, of shit too. Yeah. Yeah. Talk a lot of shit. I like that. I, feel, <laughs> I, I, I talk a lot too. So I know. <laughs> I thought he's gonna talk, and I have no problem with that. Um, Ellis, Ellis was a good too. Ellis can hit threes, and he was a tough matchup too. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it's, it's not a lot of guards, and I mean, in a league right now that I, I was going really going against. I love you, Rayshon, but yeah, he does a lot, talk a lot of shit. <laughs> Do you think you're a good trash talker on the court? What'd you say? Do you think you uh, you are a good trash talker on the court? Uh, yes. For the most part, I, I try to, but I don't. I don't try to do it all the time. But I, I do talk trash. I might not always seem like, it, but I'm always the one to talk trash. It's just part of it's part of my game. I mean, it's fun though. It's fun. I talk trash a lot too. But uh, yeah, now uh, let's go to the bubble. Are you gonna miss mm -hmm. anything from the bubble? Oh no no no! no, no. <laughs>
we, we got it. We got everything we needed in that month. So it was <laughs> I, a lot of. I think even the local players were kind of done with the bubble because it was just mm. it was uh it was just a lot. You know what I'm saying? You really couldn't yeah. do anything. It was just a lot of games. Like we all love playing basketball, but I believe it gets to a point sometimes where you just it's just like okay. Uh, my whole life was basketball for that month. Uh, and it's just like you go to practice, you come back, you eat, come back, or you go to the gym, then your ice bath every other day or every day. So it was just – it was a constant routine. It was – but it was just almost like you, you really – you didn't see the outside world for a whole month. Did, what, what did you do, though, for your downtime? For your downtime in the uh, bubble? My downtime, I really just chilled in the room. Um, mm -hmm. I Sometimes I hung with my friends and me. Uh, and then me and Austin would play the game. Sometimes we had played Call of Duty. Uh, but uh, okay. I said, me, and Austin, yeah, yeah, me and Austin, like I said, we're, we're real cool. So we honestly, we were just in the room chilling, talking, just just chilling. All we really could do in the room, look maybe look outside the window sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> For 30 days, bro. 30 days 30. in the bubble. What did you learn about Austin while you're in the bubble? <laughs> uh, man, he, he loves I, I found he loves he loves the game more than me. I, I definitely found out. He's more of a gamer. Um, so, so you guys play Call of uh, Call of Duty? Yeah, we play Warzone. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, now we talk. While you bring up, uh, while you brought up Samin, uh, did you know that Samin was coming to Indonesia? Um, yes, uh, yes, I did. We, me, and him talk yeah. every day, almost, uh -huh. almost every day at home. We, uh, we work out together. Um, he's he's kind of like my big brother. I'm not going to sit mm -hmm. here and lie. He's kind of like my big brother. Um. He he's he's the one who introduced me to this Asia like the Asia market. Okay. Um, he's the one who helped me get into El Salvador. Um, we went to the same high school when he was a senior. I was a freshman. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So like we we've been connected for about maybe around 10 years now. Wow. So uh, so may, a lot of people don't know that, but yeah, he's he's kind of like a big brother to me. Uh, he he helps me like we both help each other with the basketball. He helps me in the right direction. Um. Like I said, we were competitive at home. Like so, we played in El Salvador together. We we live five minutes from each other at home. So uh, <laughs> five yeah, minutes. So we're, I, yeah, we're we're pretty close. So we even when I got here, I was talking to him. Um, and then when he told me that uh, he was coming to West Bandit, I was like, "That's good. That's a good team for you to go on." Um, because they're they're a good organization. Um, and I like so he was just asking me about the league and stuff. Was like how to how to play, what's going on. So we, we were talking a lot even before he knew he was coming. Did you ever imagine, though, playing in the same country, same league with some men, like, like 10 years ago? Like, you never imagined that, right? Nah, I think 10 years ago, I, I, I never thought of it, never. Yeah. But um, when we were in El Salvador, we used to just sit down and talk about it, like, if we could go to a league and play play together again or play against each other, that, that's just our goal because uh, we just know a lot of people from where we're from like play basketball but don't take that next step in playing overseas or professional and for us to play against each other professional that's just that's just a memory you can't forget wow that's really crazy though but yeah, let's talk about El Salvador a little bit I saw the video it's like a small is it semi-outdoor like a semi-outdoor court with, yeah, the, my, yeah, with, my, bleachers, my, with the with bleachers on the side <laughs> yeah so basically it was a, it was an out, outdoor court with like a little <laughs> cover covering on mm. top of it um but yeah it was it was outdoor court so some nights was very humid and very hot so it was it was a, it was a tough place to play but we played me and him me and him and our other import we played almost every we played almost every minute 40 minutes wow. so after about about the third or fourth game uh we, we kind of got used to it and even other other players and imports in that league were asking us uh like how do how do we play 40 minutes a night because most teams over there don't play their imports the whole game and we we had like we our team wasn't as good as other teams um they were mostly like, like this like Berneo they were new guys or like new like rookies so we played every minute wow. um so and we and we did good too we we made the uh second round of the playoff there uh, and that was their best the best season they ever had wow that's really nice okay now let's let's answer a couple of questions from the fans uh okay. we have the we got the first one from Fabian Bondan. He's he asking your opinion about Coach Tondi and what should Borneo improve for next season. Um, I like Coach Tondi. He's he's a good coach. Uh, I said this is his first year with Borneo, so mm -hmm. I said every it was a little rocky, but come out with ten wins. I believe 
that's more than anyone could ask for. So, and like I said, we had uh, like not as much experience as other teams. Mm -hmm. So I just believe, I believe he did a good job and say coaching is the right way. Even the, the, uh, I want to give it up to the other coaching staff too. Everybody that was involved. Uh, I believe we all did a, a, a good job making sure we were on point and just making sure we had everything we need. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Coach Ringbun. <laughs> That's my <laughs> coach right there. <laughs> but now next next one is for uh, from RMYAPN. Have you ever tried to ride a motorcycle in Indonesia? No, I'm okay. I don't want to ride, ride no motorcycle here. They 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 drive dangerous. I'm okay. <laughs> But you know Gojek, right? Yes. <laughs> you, have you ever ordered food from Gojek? Yes, I, that's what I uh, that's what I eat from. I order it from every day. Okay, that's cool. Okay, the next one from Ever Toro uh, Lever. Uh, did you know that an IBL commentator gave you a nickname? Ring the bell. No, uh, I would hear it, but I didn't know it was my. It was my. I knew it was my thing, but I didn't know it was my name. But I would hear it. Uh, a lot of people would comment on my post or uh, post on Instagram, and yeah. I would like. Posted and that and that was my uh, uh that was my nickname. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. I, I get that a lot, so I, it's, I, I like it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. All right, next one is from Kevin Dora. What is your favorite Indonesian food? Um, think. Indomie. <laughs> Have you tried Indomie? Is that's the noodles, right? Yeah, that's the noodles. Uh, I like the noodles. They're okay. Nah, mm. I, I don't really. Was that that much? Um, I'm trying to think. Fried rice, satay. <laughs> the fried rice is good. Oh, squid. I, I don't know. If squid is, is an Indonesian thing, but um, what did I, you I like have squid. squid? Uh, my team, my team used to have. I, I think uh, we used to have like cooks for our team, okay. and used to make squid, and that was good. And then it's the uh, it's like some type of beef that, that they uh used to cook. That was that was very good too. Okay, <laughs> let's leave it at that. <laughs> All right. Next one from Arif Liminto. Uh, who is the best local player in the IBL, according to Randy Bell? Um, uh, what number? What's his name? Number four from Ferrari. I, I don't know his name. Uh, he is, uh, he is. Abraham. Yeah, the game winning shot in All Star. Yeah, what's his name? Abraham. Yeah, Abraham. He, he, he's he's I like him. He's very he's very very good. I, I really like his game. It's number one player, man. Number one player. Yeah, yeah he, he can shoot, he can dribble, he can drive. Um, and he's very composed. Um, and he's, he has a nice frame to him. He's not small. He has a nice little muscle to him. I, I like I like how he plays. I mean, the last shot, man, turn around. Yeah, it, was, it was a tough shot. I like it. I like it. Uh, last one from Shake Tad. Are you going to come back to Borneo next season? Uh, my and my plans is yes, but I would like to have to talk it over with the organization and see yeah. what's going on. But um, I, I will try to. All right, cool. Uh, I forgot one more from Mr. Ias. Which one is the hardest? You play Division Two NCAA? Uh, I play yeah Division Two and NAIA. Yes. Okay, which one is the hardest then? Uh, NAIA, Division Two, El Salvador, or IBL? Um. Mm -hmm. I would have to just say the IBL because it's just it's just more professional. Um, okay. Division two is not is not uh, it's not easy at all. Uh, and in the conference I was in is like one of the best conferences. Um, some teams in my division used to play some Division ones, um, but uh, I would just say this because it's, it's just professional. So you have more people who like will kind of getting paid to play, so they're going to play harder, they're going to play rougher. And then overseas, you can play a lot more physical than you can in in, uh, in the states. Nice. All right. I know we cannot talk about this yet because I know you're gonna play somewhere after this. <laughs> well, I don't think we can reveal where you're gonna play after uh, next. But uh, do you have any plan? Uh, you know, before you go back to the states, maybe to go to Bali or you know, injure yourself. Uh, I say, like I said, I have to uh have something I have to do after this. But after that, um. Yes, I plan. I uh, plan on spending a couple of days in Bali before I, uh, I go back to the U.S. Nice. All right, Randy, we are done. Thank you so much, man. That was really fun, though, talking to you and getting to know you a little bit. Really appreciate you. Good luck on your next 
on your next team <laughs> maybe in like a couple of weeks uh, good luck with that and yeah we're looking forward to always seeing you uh, in indonesia hopefully you're gonna come back and play again the ibl because you know all the fans love you so much uh, they love your game and yeah man thank you so much man for stopping by everybody don't forget to support randy bell follow him on instagram and also support borneo basketball uh boomy borneo basketball and yeah man it's been nice man thank you so much thank and you, you want to say anything to the fans uh thank you for the support and everybody in ibl and thank you for having me on your show uh it was a great it was a great time hope we can speak again yes sir uh, of course we're gonna connect i'm in i'm in seattle right now i'll be back in i'll be back to indonesia Uh, next month so hopefully you're still gonna be there next month <laughs> yeah but yeah once again thank you so much randy and everybody thank you guys for watching this interview really appreciate everybody and we'll see you guys again very soon peace out everybody thank you